Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get a free software voice over IP client that you can use with any provider because some providers don't provide the actual desktop app, whether it's for Windows or Mac or anything like that. So I'll show you the website we're going to get it from. Just paste in this URL. So here's the site we're going to go to. This is a free phone system you can download and configure and host yourself and set up all your own soft phones and just have one zip line with a provider going off. Um, but we, we're not going to do that. We just want the free client. So the free client for Windows 10 is here. So I've already clicked on it and downloaded it. So we're going to set that up now. So let me just close this site. Right, so I've double clicked on the exe file we downloaded and we're going to just go through the standard install. So click next. Click accept and then click next. Just leave this as default. Click next and then click install. You will need administrator rights because you're going to get this pop up. So you're just going to put yes on that. Okay, that's it then. So we'll leave it to go on launch. So we'll click finish. So this is what the soft client looks like. So what we're going to do now is click on the middle button at the bottom. Then we're going to go to accounts. And you can see I've already got one set up here. So what I'm going to do is click edit. So this would be the name you want to appear on the soft phone. And it normally comes up when you phone somebody. This is going to be your extension. That's going to be your extension as well. And that's going to be the ID, which is going to be your extension. And this is going to be your password for your account with the VoIP provider. Now, in this case, we're using Gradwell. So I am out of the office and you're using, you need to use an external IP. So you need to go to here. So the address for that is sip.prod.gradwell.com and that'll get you up and running. But you might find that you can hear anybody. So what you have to do in this case is check this box and put nat.gradwell.net and then click OK. This will mean your account is going to go active. So we'll click on that. It's saving the settings now. Okay, and you'll see not connected at the moment on hook. So it's actually now working. 